Hello and welcome to my channel. It's that time of the month. Poundland Hall. Ooh. Right, now this one for me is a little bit of a random one because I went down the DIY section, which I've never ventured into before. Um, but I shall come on to those very soon. So it'd be great if you wanted to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little button down there below and thank you very much indeed if you're already one of my long-term subscribers. The numbers are creeping up a little. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video. Right, first thing, I'm going to do a bit of beauty to start with. I normally do that near the end. I'm going to start that at the beginning. A couple of nail varnishes. Now, I'm a member of the Facebook Poundland Appreciation Society, which Emma Drew um, set up. And I absolutely love seeing bits on there, um, people going in the shops and posting photos of bits and bobs they buy. And it gives me a lot of inspiration to go out and grab a few items. One of which is this. So my nails are in an absolute state at the moment from uh, wearing acrylics. So I'm thinking I might just put a little bit of a colour on them. So this is sort of a, a brownie sort of um, colour, like a, a latte and uh, obviously a pound and then to go on the top of it or bottom a base coat or top coat um, some people have been saying there's a certain way to wear these so they last longer i can't remember if it's base coat varnish top coat or varnish top coat but i have a bit of a play around with it but i really like that color it's just really nice for work that's nice and sort of muted i think the word is lip gloss you know I love a bit of lip gloss uh, I've actually taken this one out of the packet uh, this color is ballet pink 2 now this for me probably isn't dark enough or bright enough I've already got it on but I've popped a little bit of this other one on the top just to make it a bit brighter but so that was the reason I bought that really not to wear on its own but to uh, mix with others but just to give me a bit of a shine so I don't think I've seen that colour in there before really like that hairspray uh, I'm going to New York very soon and um, even though I've got full-size luggage I didn't want to take a full-size hairspray and my normal boots variety, this seemed to stop doing in the smaller one. So this is the Fern McCann Extra Hold, Extra Firm Hairspray with added Pro Vitamin B5. Let's give it a little go. Oh, that smells nice. Some hairsprays don't smell the best. That is really nice. It's almost like perfume. So, well, if that's a good hairspray, I might be swapping over. The hashtag six range, uh, the skincare. So I did a review on these. Um, I did swap over and start using these, all the day cream, face, uh, night cream, etc. Wasn't overly a fan. Um, wasn't really nourishing enough for my skin. But there's a couple of products in there that, yes, absolutely are lovely. This being one of them. This is the hand cream. Um, and this is an anti-aging hand cream and it says it fights visible signs of aging with coconut oil, collagen and vitamin E. Absolutely love this stuff. Get through a lot of hand cream because I'm always washing my hands. And um, for one pound, this is a really nice one. It doesn't leave your hands feeling too greasy, but it really nourishes your skin as well. So this is a definite thumbs up for me and uh, a recommendation actually. Um, this is actually a Poundland top on that I've got. A uh, Pep & Co t-shirt. Uh, I like the little sleeves on it. Got that for the summer. Um, I think it was about £4. Okay, so I've got... Uh, I thought I'd try this one. I didn't pick this up when I was doing my test. I had one of the serums, but I'm not sure if this wasn't available or whether I did buy it and I've left it somewhere and I can't find it. Anyway, thought I'd try one of these. Anti-aging eye cream, just for under the old eyes. Um, I usually, usually use a Clinique product, but I'm run out, I've all run out of that, and that's £23 to replace it, whereas this is a pound. So I'm really looking forward to giving that a go. The box is quite big, but you just get a tube, but for a pound, 15 mil. Let's have a little squirt on the old hand. Oh yeah, that feels quite thick, actually. Nice fresh fragrance. Yeah. I like the feel of that. I shall uh, look forward to giving that a go. Just a couple of food items next. I always get some of these from Poundland. Porridge pots, oat burst, three for a pound, golden syrup flavour. 
absolutely brilliant start to the day, start to the day having one of these uh, as breakfast or maybe a, a lunchtime snack. Uh, just made up with water, they are 221 calories. I actually just top it with a little bit of skim milk as well, just to make it a little bit more creamy. Um, but yeah, always get these. Wheat crunchies. My normal favourite flavour of Walker, Walker's chicken crisps. They've not been any in there the last two two times, the last two occasions I've been in the shop. Um, and somebody else got me into these recently. Thank you, Amanda. Uh, bacon wheat crunches, and you get six in your pack for a pound here. The Walkers only get four, so a um, bit better value. But yeah, these are lovely. I love a bit of Galaxy. Oh, and when I found these a few months ago, this is my idea of heaven. I absolutely used to love minstrels, but these are the Galaxy bits of chocolate without the crispy bit. So they are just delicious nuggets of chocolate and I absolutely love these counters. Um, not especially cheap because they're in Poundland. If you go in the supermarket and they're on or off, you can get them for a pound. But because I was in there, I just grabbed a bag. Right, now we move on to a bit of technology or technology related. Um, I had a quick look. I was after a pair of the headphones that I've um, covered on a previous haul, but they haven't had them in. in the, again, the past two occasions I've been there, vamoosh, not, they've gone. Anyway, so I had a little browse around what else was available on that sort of display. And I've got a few bits for my phone. So ages, I've wanted um, one of those gadgets that go on the back of your phone, um, you know, that you hold or a ring. And um, to be honest, I've not seen any. And they had them in Poundland for a pound. So I picked up two. Uh, not sure how long they'll last, but for a quid, I'm not really overly bothered. Uh, I went for a rose gold colour and a silver sort of chrome. Um, and that's sort of more like brushed chrome. So put a ring on it, phone ring holder, just stick that on the back of the phone and hey presto, off we go. I have actually got um, a rose gold colour on the back. Now I have this plastic covering as well because I am so clumsy, I'm always dropping my phone. So I've got a cover on the back and front, but I will just happily stick that on the back there. So for the trip to New York, I wanted to vlog some of it. Um, and I didn't really, I have got one handheld sort of gadget, tripod thing. Um, this is Alan's though, it's not mine, and it, it bends in all sorts of directions, which is great if you're trying to film something sort of at an angle. But I also wanted something for, well, I didn't really want to take that in case I break it or lose it. And um, Poundland have got a couple of bits as well. So we've got a selfie stick and a Rocksteady tripod foam stand. So let's get these out of the box and see how naff they are. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's really nice. And what I often do is I put my phone in there and um, I will hold it and do things or you can put it like that, like so. And what actually would be quite nice for these is if you wanted to um, put your phone in there and put me on a YouTube video and uh, just watch me while you're getting ready in the morning or something. And there you go. Isn't that marvellous? So the selfie stick, um, actually I've not really bought for the purposes of taking a selfie because I don't think this um, is compatible to my phone. No, it's not. I think because I've got a newer iPhone, it's got the um, the different adapter on the bottom. But so I'm not overly bothered about that. What I wanted this for was um, when I am filming at a distance. Um, I often my hands a bit wobbly, or well, you can't get it that far away from your face. So really, um, oops. This is for that purpose, that if I want to film something when I'm sort of walking around, hello there, we're in New York, welcome to the vlog, that sort of thing. So I might just pull that bit off because that's not working. Um, but if you want it as a selfie stick, little button there, can't see it. There's like, um, yeah, can you hear that? There's a picture of a camera on there. That, Feels decent actually, it doesn't feel, the top's a bit cheap and nasty, but the rest of it, the telescopic bit feels pretty good quality. 
there we go. So that will also be coming to New York with me. What is this, may you ask? This is Make Your Own Roof. So what I'm going to do this year, this Christmas, I want to make my own bauble wreath. I tried, I tried to do one last year on a coat hanger and um, all the baubles fell off. <laughs> well, not the baubles. You know, um, the little, the little uh, bit at the top that is what you, with the hoop on it that you put on the tree, all of those little bits sort of pinged off. So I was just ended up with a load of um, the holders and no, and a load of separate um, baubles. So this year, I'm going to have a go at doing one of these. I need to find out what's the best way of sticking the baubles to this. The only thing with this, I'm not sure if it's going to be a bit, a little bit small. It's only 25 by 25, um, which compared to my head, as you can see, it's not massive. But once it's got the baubles on it, it might just be a, a small, cute little one. So to possibly stick the baubles on, I've bought some of this super glue. This is unbelievable. Two, four, six, seven pack for a pound. Actually, it says it up there. Um, so I'm always... I'm always needing a little bit of super glue every now and again. You know, sometimes when you think I need to stick that thing together and you never find glue, I end up using um, false nail glue. And, oh, the last time I did it, I got in a right mess, stuck my fingers together. So I thought even if you get this and, um, you know, use, use it and then throw it or something, seven for a pound, it's such good value. So I will be doing, hopefully, a video on how to make that wreath a bit nearer Christmas once I've fathomed out how to do it. So keep your eye out for that later in the year. A grout pen. Mm, there's a few areas in our bathroom that could do with a bit of whitening up. My only worry about using this is once you start, do you then have to do the whole lot? So I need to just see what sort of colour this is compared to the rest of the bathroom. And I may just top up, top up the odd tile that where it's a bit dark from mould, which I do try and get out. But sometimes they do discolour a bit, don't they? So, yeah, I thought for a pound I can just give that a go. Now, what is this, may you ask? Well, I have to admit, I got a bit sucked into this because I looked at it, started reading about it, and I thought... Um, this might help when I do my YouTube videos. And at the minute, it's in the daytime, so I've got a bit of natural light, as well as I have, um, I don't have a ring light, but I do have a dressing table with lights around it. So the lighting is pretty good. Um, but sometimes in the evening, it gets a bit dark in here. So I thought, rather than have one that's plugged in and you can't move about, this looked a really good idea. It's an LED lantern. My only, disappointment was I thought it was two pounds and when I got to the till it was a fiver but by then I'd convinced myself that it was going to be fantastic so I bought it I had to get these big boy batteries to go in it and these were from Poundland as well Kodak again a pound ago and it takes three so all in all it's cost me five six six fifty which if it's going to help that is a lot cheaper than a ring light so this is what it looks like out of the packet, got a little handle and it's got an on and off switch. Oh, and then it's got different settings, I presume they are, as to how, how bright you want it. Let's get the batteries in. Right, so I've got the batteries in, let's see what this little rascal does. Oh, right, okay. Well, it's not too bright actually. It's not, you can look at it and it doesn't go whoa. But um, yeah, I'm not sure how much difference that's gonna make. Let's have a look what it looks like down there. Yeah, it's not really um, doing what I thought it'd do. That's a shame, because that's that was a great idea and quite a lot of money, but maybe it'll be better um, when the room's dark. So if, when I'm editing this, I may have used it in the dark, so I'll let you know in a little bit of text underneath if it, if it makes any difference. Anyway, the disappointment has been made better by this next and final item. 
I've wanted one of these since I was a child. I don't know why I've never bought one before. Mind you, I've never seen them for sale. It was in the little DIY section. Now, most of you think will think this is ridiculous. I've got myself a grabber. It was a pound, I love it. So, if I want to pick up little things, I can. Ooh, look at that. My husband was like, what, have you, what do you want that for? And I said, the thing is, Alan, I'm quite small and there's certain things that I can't, my arms aren't long enough to get them, or I can't quite reach something. I know I can't get anything too heavy with it. But I was thinking maybe we've got, um, well, maybe in the garden, I thought, for picking up the leaves and stuff, we've got a, a, a little bush and you can't get underneath it to get all the, you can see the blinking dead leaves, but you can't get in it to get them. So uh, I'm going to use this bad boy. So I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with this for one pound. So that's the haul over and done with. Um, few little uh, nice items in there actually um yeah i'm quite pleased with that lot for i think it was about 20 yeah 24 pounds for that lot really chuffed the only thing i'm a bit disappointed about is the led lantern and now i've taken it out of the package and probably can't take it back but to be honest i could use that at the side of my bed um you know when you get when you're in bed and rather than a reading lamp because it's um portable but if not, never mind, I'll find a use for it somewhere. So I hope you've enjoyed that watching that. Hope, give me a little like or a thumbs up and uh, any comments that you put below, I will try and answer. I do like to do that. I love engaging with you, with you lot that watch me. And um, if you want to subscribe to the channel, that'd be great. I am going to be, well, I've actually started filming a giveaway. So that will be coming very soon. And I've got a massive basket full of goodies for one lucky winner. But you do have to be a subs you do have to subscribe to my channel to do that, um, and there is a way of checking who's subscribed and who's not. So hit that subscribe button, and then I'll be back soon with the um, the giveaway at some point. So thanks for watching for now, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.